Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel with the new lecture guys if you want to become a successful structure designer especially for rcc top beam so you must watch this video from start to end and i hope you will become a structure designer just for rcc top beam not for foundation or for rcc column so in next video i will also discuss rcc column foundation footing etc so therefore guys today in this video i will teach you reinforcement arrangement of beam which beam top beam which we provide at the top of rcc slab so let's start guys reinforcement arrangement of beam topic is related with steel structure so let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so for my motivation and for your motivation you must like this video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon if you are new the topic is reinforcement arrangement of beam as you can see guys this is a beam this one cross section in this video i will show you cross section of beam on different points at the mid also at the end of the support because we have two cross section for top beam i will also show you here die of steel bars numbers of steel bars stirrups spacing and its reinforcement details etc right guys you can see in this section you can see these are columns this is one column and this is second column this is simply supported beam and beam is included with crank bar right guys if i make a cross section of this beam right for example if i cut this beam on this point okay this is cutting point if i write here bb so guys you can see this cross section how because in this beam we have six numbers of steel bars at the bottom we have four numbers so now here is a question why we use bottom bars in rcc beam especially in top as you know guys concrete is weak in tension so therefore load comes on the tension portion so therefore we should provide more numbers of steel bars compared to top section so here guys we have four numbers of steel bars and these bars are called main bars these are main bars in rcc main bars okay and top portion bars are called these bar it's called hanger hanger bar right now guys we have four numbers of steel bars and here these two are extra bars these two which we crank in beam why we crank a bar i will also discuss this okay remember guys the bottom bars dia should be maximum compared to upper portion dia bar upper dia should be less than compared to bottom so the butter bottom steel dia should be maximum than upper dia right for example guys if i use here 16 mm dia okay so the top bar dia should be about 12 mm right and here guys the bent up bar okay these extra bars dia should be also same dia of top bar, uh, top bar like 12 mm okay this is the one point as i cut this line okay this beam okay so we have this cross section and guys in other side if we cut this beam at the end of the support you can see on this point if i write here cc section so we will get this cross section how because these are 
these two bars are bent near its support so it start at the bottom okay same like this you can see then we up same like this so therefore then four numbers of steel bars you can see at the top and two numbers at the bottom why guys you can see guys this bar is coming okay from here you can see okay if i see this cross section okay this one cross section so these two bars are going to upward side you can see these extra bar so these bars become from this place to here to this point as you can see here are four numbers of steel bars and two at the bottom as you can see this one okay because this is just it's long section so therefore you can't see the other bar right so when the bars are bent near its support so you can see the second cross section of the beam same like this four numbers will be up and two numbers will be at the bottom same again guys you can see this dia should be again 12 mm same like this and these two will be also 12 mm like this okay and these bars should be same 16 mm as i before i written here okay so here in first cross section you can see four numbers of steel bars are at the bottom okay but in this cross section at the mid okay but at the end of the support we can get this cross section because two bars are bent near its support which is called crank bar so therefore four numbers will become to up and two numbers at the bottom the dia is same again 16 mm and two numbers of bars are going to upward side in the case of bent up bar right now guys you can see here this long section again this is long section of this these bars these four numbers of r5 r6 numbers are held by are hold by stirrups which is this one this is called stirrup this is stirrup you can see here okay the stirrup dia should be not less than guys six millimeter okay it should not be less than 6 mm in the case of any structure so you can increase but it should not be less than 6 mm now guys you can see because this is called guys vertical legs okay this because these are two leg stirrup okay so here guys you can see if you don't provide stirrup and main, uh, main bars and also hanger bar okay so it can't be hold so we hold main bars and also hanger bar with the help of stirrup and we bind it by binding wire right so here guys you can see the other point these are called hooks okay and the hook's length should be guys with 90 wear ds dia of steel bar which is 6 mm here right and the angle of 135 degree right so this is the explanation of stirrup okay so it must be bent with 135 degree because if we just provide same like this so otherwise it will not resist earthquake okay now guys come to bent up bar here as you can see in this graph so this angle should be guys on site 50 to 60 degree okay and most of the project we have also done it with 45 degree but it should be between 50 to 60 or 50 degree it's okay now guys why we provide bent up bar it's very important to know about this point if you want to become a successful structural designer as i told you before starting the video guys you know this bent up bar should be placed this bar should be placed with l by 4 distance you can see l by 4 distance l divided by 4 l is 
from this point to this one. This is clear length of the beam. So L by 4 distance we will provide crank bar. Why crank bar provide? To resist shear stresses because shear stresses are maximum near its support. Right? And why we provide more numbers of steel bars at the bottom? Because these are main bars and here are tension. Okay? So therefore, in tension, because concrete is weak in tension and it's strong in compression. So therefore, we will provide more numbers of steel bars at the base point. That's why because bending moment is maximum. Here, this is mid. Okay? On mid point, on mid point, bending moment is maximum. Okay? And Okay, and here uh, sh uh, uh, bending moment is minimum. So here shear force is maximum. Shear stresses, okay, shear stresses you can say. Shear stresses are maximum at the end of the supports. Guys, therefore we provide more numbers of steel bars compared to upper portion because these bars can arrest cracks because in many projects I saw if you use just four numbers of steel bars so that beam can be crack easily because this portion can arrest cracks so therefore cracks should be provided if there are two numbers of steel bars so at the bottom we should use four numbers of steel bars compared to upper portion right so these are the some rules regulation of reinforcement arrangement of beams specially and top right so before this video i've already discussed how to find depth of foundation so if you need depth of foundation so also you can find depth of foundation this uh, sorry depth of beam not depth of foundation uh, before this i've already discussed about foundation so therefore i'm talking about foundation so sorry for that how to find depth of depth of beam and guys the depth of beam should be more than its width especially in beam this is from is456 and also from aci codes okay so uh, this is the rules of uh, plant beam and also about top beam okay so you can find if you don't have structural design if you don't have uh, structure load anything if you don't know so the depth of the depth of the beam should be maximum and you can also find it by l by 12 where l is length of beam divided by 12 then you can get the complete depth of foundation so guys this is the very important topic which i have discussed the front of you so if you have any question related with this topic so you can comment i will try to reply your answer and never forget to subscribe my second channel in urdu that name is several student and the link is in the description of this video thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye